Windory Cruncher variant. Size 14 nymph hook. Black 14 0 thread. Start at the halfway point. Cover your hook. And bring it back to just in front of the barb. I'm using, these are turkey bites. And that's what I'm going to use for the tail. about six of them cut it off measure them the length of the just the tips the length of the hook shank hold that cut that off and then you're tying that just in front of the barb or the tip of the hook so that it only gets to be about that length and you want to get your bobbin and split these take your hook back to the starting point got some copper wire use one piece now you hold your copper wire put it under and lift it up on top of the hook and it's on the spot give it one turn and then pull the wire through until it's right where you want it and you tie it off one of the easiest ways I think of putting the wire on the hook okay I got my wire on the hook Take my thread back to halfway. Next thing is pheasant tail. And I get about seven or eight or nine or five. More closer to nine on the pheasant tail. Whenever you take something off the feather, you hold the feather, you hold the barb you want and just rip it off by moving the feather. Now I get the tips and I cut the tips off and tie them in footing the wire and tie it in back to where we tied in the tail and that way this won't pull out bring the thread forward and wrap your pheasant tail it doesn't have to be you don't want it to be real thick wrap your pheasant tail up to behind the eye you don't want to crowd the eye tie that off cut the pheasant tail Put a half hitch. Now I'm going to reverse wrap. I find it's easier if you put your wire on hackle pliers. And I'm going to reverse wrap the ribbing, which is copper wire. A lot of times if you keep your hook up 
then the thread won't slip off sometimes it does won't slip off I use wire pliers my wire scissors so I'll use them for to cut the wire and rub that in now I get two pieces of pheasant tail or sorry peacock curl cut it base and tie it in by the butts back from the eye we don't want to crowd the eye bring them back to about halfway give it a half inch wrap the peacock curl get a good thorax didn't like that same thing stop it so that the eye of the hook is upright and then the long thread won't slip off cut that off wrap it give it a half hitch next thing is wogon pigeon feathers wogon pigeon or an Australian pigeon and what I do is I want to get the pigeon feather holding right on the stem you pull all that back and you wind up with a little bit here you cut that off and that gives you something to tie in you tie that in come back get my hack of pliers and I want to get about three turns each time it comes to the top I slide it back I'm wrapping towards the front of the eye two turns third turn Looks like I got enough. Hold the feather up, make two turns around the hook. Cut the feather, push everything back with my finger, fingers, make a head. turn it upside again so the whip finish doesn't slide off four turn whip finish finish here and then what I do is I get my wife's hairdryer it used to be hers now it's mine and I blow the Feather. But I find that the hair dryer pushes everything back and the feathers stay the way you want them. 